I'm just told I got something else I got to teach. So we're going to go through this kind of fast. The, the bare knuckle jab. I have to get the guys in on this. It's not going to be that easy, but I'm going to figure a way to get everybody in so they don't get bored. Okay. The reason why I'm showing it is because... Uh, here we go. I hate having to do it. Nine, nine, I started boxing. Twelve, I had my first bare knuckle match. It seems unusual to you people. But back in the day... We fought, we didn't shoot each other, we didn't stab each other, we used to box. So it's not, it wasn't unusual when I was younger for a brother to see his friend, an older brother, to see his friend who has a, a, a younger brother like myself and pair them off. It was con very controlled, but I had my first bare knuckle match when I was 12, last one when I was 20. Okay, about seven all together. And trust me, it's, it's, a, it, it's enough because you, you don't recover from it. I want to show you how to use a bare knuckle jab. Okay, <clears throat> so the next reason I'm doing this because a lot of people are doing it, and I don't I don't spend time on YouTube trying to troll people. But if something is incorrect and dear to my heart, I need to change. I need to show how it's done. Okay, the way you jab, the way you have your hands depends on the damage you want to do. So one way is to have your hands not fully clenched, you have ear in him. Ear, and this is when you have the ear in your hands, okay, in your jab. They're not fully clenched. Now, let me slow down a little bit. With that, right, there's two ways that you want to punch. You will punch with a, a, a slightly clenched fist with your four knuckles here, or with the, 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 um, the four, your four fingers together like this, this way, all right? like this. What this does is it's not sharp, but it does create blunt force trauma. Okay, so each one get each one of these guys so you don't get bored. Alright. My hand is not clenched. Now let me tell you why my hand is not clenched. My hand is not clenched because I'm trying to keep my hands on the person. I want to touch the person but I don't want to damage my hands because they might have a good defense. So if his defense is up by his hands, by his head like this, and I don't have a clear shot, I don't want to completely clench my fist because I may run into his wrist or run into his elbow. But I can't just move around like this and pose. So I want to, you, I want to put my hands on him in some way. Move around. I want to put my hands on him in some way to keep him busy. That's why I won't completely clench my hand. Now, my hand, if I punch with this part of my hand, it's not gonna be painful because there's fat here. It's not sharp like these first two knuckles, okay? So I have Muhammad, gotta get everybody in here. If I punch with this part of my hand, this part is gonna create this. It's blunt force. It's no pain. If I turn my two knuckles in with still a partially clenched fist, this creates pain. See the difference? There's a difference. So, not only am I having air in my hand, but I'm jabbing to really keep this person busy, but I don't want to completely clench my hand because if I completely clench him, and I hit a hard object and his defense is not open, then I'm damaging my hands. So essentially, half clenched fist for the purpose of keeping him busy. And I have Dave, I gotta move fast, these guys don't wanna get them bored, okay? If I'm moving around, I can't do this because he's punching. So I have to do something. And basically what I'm doing is pulling with this to keep him busy, all right? If his defense is up like this, then I'm not going to be clenching my hands. This is what happens. That's what happens. I don't want to do that. So I just touch him. I touch. Just touch. Okay. If I want to do damage with that clenched fist, then I will turn and hit with these two knuckles. So if I throw a jab here, I'll hit the bone with my first two knuckles. If I just want blunt force trauma, 
Then I'll punch with this part and it's a thud. Feel a difference? This is a thud, this is damage. Okay? All right. So I have Jalen. So again, that's the point. Let me go back. My hand is not fully clenched. If I don't have a clear passage, my hand is not fully clenched. But I just can't walk around and not throw anything because he's going to get aggressive. So I have to move and keep the person at bay. Exactly. Now, I just went like this. He put his hands in, and I felt the sensation. If I was to close my fist and punch this man's elbow, he would hurt his elbow, but I also would damage my hand. Okay? Now, half clenched fist, ear in the fist, two ways of punching for two different purposes. One for blunt force. That's when you're punching with the flat part, where you're going to get this. When you turn your knuckles in, half clenched, air in, your, air in your, your fist, you turn it in, it creates damage, okay? Now, that's when you have air in your, in your hand, and the purpose for having air in, in your fist. The other way is if you have clenched fists, okay? If both hands are clenched, you're punching with the flat part for trauma, just for trauma. You may want to throw it vertically, okay? Vertically, because it's trauma. If I hit him on top of his head, this is going to be traumatic. It's going to create trauma. But the other way is to take your fist this way and peel back your last two knuckles, and now these become your weapon. When this becomes your weapon, your, when your first two knuckles becomes your weapon, the jab is different. Okay, so uh, I had you, Abby. We got Abby, our honorable guest, right? Okay. Now, if I have, if I peel back my knuckles, this is totally different. Now I have a target. I'm using these specifically for something I want to hit. So if I'm, if his hands are down, and I want to cut, create a cut, right? Then that's when I use my first two knuckles and I turn them in to the eye. Okay? If I want to damage the muscle, this will not damage the muscle as much. If I turn my knuckles in, this damages the muscle. Okay? So, to finish this video, several ways you want to throw your jab. One is with a fully clenched fist. Another way is when you have ear, a partially clenched fist. You partially clench your fist or have them partially open when they have a high guard, for example, or whatever, you don't have a clear passage to what you want, and you don't want to take a chance on damaging your hands, you want to paw, okay, and have your hands slightly clenched. And you will create enough damage, enough power, to keep them honest. It will hurt. If you hit someone with a fairly close, with a half-closed fist, it's still going to hurt, but you won't damage your hand as much as if you had them closed. Okay? The two ways you hit is one with these four, four digits right here, but that will not cause pain. It will cause blunt force. It's blunt force. What causes pain and does most damage is your first two knuckles. All right? So, half clenched fist uh, compared to a closed fist. Your four digits here, blunt force trauma. First two knuckles causes pain. All right? And you want to have an active jab. So if I'm here, we'll finish it up, thanks, Abby. You want to have an active jab. So an active jab might be, I'm here, just keep going, just keep going. You want to be active. Slip, have them out, bang, bang. You jab and hook, jab and uppercut, all right? All this time, you see, I'm hitting this, this guy's elbow. That's why you do not want to close your hands if you don't have an open passage to someone's, uh, someone's to, your, to your target, all right? So that's it. Bare knuckle boxing is totally different. Sorry I went so fast, but this guy's sitting over here. You've probably seen the camera. Reminded me I had something to show him before we close up. So if you got any questions, you can contact me on my camp at yahoo.com. See you next week.